um, a little Rakeda dab because this was found. I, I did not talk about this. This was discovered last Friday. I did not see it in time for my stream. So, Rakeda, Rakeda had an Instagram account. And on it, he was following following two nice uh, Jamaican men who seemed to be uh, very, very conscious about their physical appearance. They seemed to take care of themselves, physically train, uh, maintain a level of physique that some would consider impressive. And Ricardo was following them. Uh, coincidentally, they both worked at Hedonism Two, the resort in Jamaica that he went to, uh, which was not a which was n even though it had a cuck week the week after Ricardo was there, he insists that there was no cucking uh, the week that he was there. Um, and after this revelation, which came right after the Mandy thing, he has publicly stated that um he wishes to end his fun streams so to clarify if you don't know if you haven't watched for kate in a while um on rumble on most weekdays i think he does a normal stream where he talks about law stuff and then on friday he had this thing where he would have a round table of a couple people who are also in the law tube sphere and they would all get drunk and they would all take off their shirts and drink and then make fools of themselves. And that was their Friday fun stream. Um, in a recent Friday fun stream, he gushed over this woman called Mandy. And it was speculated because he requested that this video be deleted, that it probably pissed off the wife. And I believe that is the case. And so after this, and after the revelations of the the black men on Instagram that he was following, and so was I think his wife followed one of them, or are they? Uh, it's actually in this post. Let me just not be lazy. Um, Ricardo followed, and he followed back, and then for the other one, Ricardo followed, and he followed back, and then oh, here here we have a video. This is the quality con this is the Instagram content they were putting out. It was not gonna load. You might be saved, chat. You might be saved from twelve actions. Uh YouTube or Instagram content. Okay, I guess it's not gonna load. I think that uh his wife was following one of them and it didn't follow back or something. Uh so of course people are now speculating all sorts of oh wait, here we go. I loaded. Oh, it's not loading all the way. Okay, I, I give up. You don't have to watch the black man. But after this, he's he's put out several videos. Um, Alyssa clipped them. There's like one that's an hour long, one that's 20 minutes long, and one that's 10 minutes long. And he basically says that he's no longer happy with the content of his Friday streams. He believes that they have become too debauched to be funny. He clarified that his, his idea of, of uh, like debauch has like three tiers. There's one where it's just like, he used the word irreverent, has a reverent humor, and then there's like saucy humor, and then there is debauch humor. And now, um, his streams are fully debauched and he no longer is proud of that content. So he wishes to stop doing them. And this has been met with mixed rate with, uh, some surprise from the Nick Ricada, a log community. <laughs> uh, and I don't know. I don't know how to be funny about this. Like, okay. He, he recognizes that those streams are at the very least like a really terrible representation of him as like a content creator. Cause of course, when he, even though, even if he did this once, I'll just assume, cause again, I, I don't know ex exactly what his schedule is like at this point. Thank you. Golden black back Jack for the prime. Thank you. Um, 
So even if, if I just take into his word and what he says, the he has his normal streams, and I think he even does one on Friday, and then he also does a second stream that's like his fun stream. The only thing that ever gets clipped anymore is the um is is the the fr Friday stuff, which is also embarrassing a lot of the times, and it's kind of like with DSP. Uh, in a way where if you are or low tier god like you think about those people dsp does like a 30 minute long state of the stream like every day and then he plays video games for six hours and it's the most boring content on the face of the fucking planet but if you ever hear anything about dsp what do you what do you see it's always that 30 minute segment where he talks about his life and his taxes and shit. And that's what people clip out. So it's like, if you know anything about DSP, you probably know him just as like a professional whiner and you maybe never seen a video of video of him playing a video game, unless it's like, a, this is how you don't play from the early years of DSP. Um, and then with low tier God, it's just like, I'm sure he plays fighting games most of the time, but everyone just knows him as someone who chimps out and says, go kill yourself, nigga. So it is extremely unoptical to have one segment that you're not proud of because your people who don't like you are just going to clip from that all the time. <laughs> and you'll know, and that's just how people will know you as, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so uh if this is what he's doing it is a good idea because i think after like especially like you know the whole thing about him being a cuckold and drexel having sex with his wife is like a, a meme that's based off a couple anecdotes and then there's that story about her going to like the the masseuse who like massaged her breast inappropriately and then she went back a second time and he did it again and that's when she stopped going like that whole thing is p p pieced together from like those stories but now you're like following black men from hedonism too on instagram and it's like this also is really not helping <laughs> with that if, if it's not true then you're making it as difficult as possible for people to give you a benefit of a doubt. So I don't know. I wanted to give him an update on this and uh, wish him luck, I suppose, on ending his debauch streams. He really just needs to, like, really at this point, just focus on it like a job. I know jobs are boring and shit, but um, that's probably the appropriate response at this point. Definitely don't stream drunk anymore. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.